This is uh, really awkward. I am at the grocery store in Spokane, but this is no ordinary grocery store. This is the last job I had before coming to Job Corps. It's a safe way. Um, I'm here to see my bank, but not open. So I'm in an aisle. God, I don't want my old coworkers to see me. It is so awkward. I work in the deli, and the deli is way over there, so. Really awkward. I'm in the olive oil section. Wait for my pink to open. This, this is like, oh my gosh, like I'm being super nervous. Like if I see them, I'm, I'm like, hey. There's a customer that just stared at me. The customer was coming down this aisle and he turned around because he saw me filming. He's like, excuse me. Be on YouTube. Anyway. <clears throat> I'm pink to open. My hair is disgusting. I don't care. I think oil, I think olive oil is disgusting. So I think that we are made to be in the same aisle together. But just, just the smell of it reminds me of the hours and hours I put into working. There's people. Hey, one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, her name is Graveyard Girl. She, she does this. I should do this. Just walk around. You know her face. You know, but it's just really hard to film. There was another person who came on this island. They turned around because they saw me filming. So my bank opens at, so my bank, oh my gosh, there's like security that are watching me, okay. Oh my gosh, I remember these rooms. Okay, I'm gonna stop filming. So now I am sitting in my truck. Um, I remember when I worked here, we had like the employee lounge and there'd be a window looking out over all of the aisles and I do remember that there used to be security that would kind of like look at people's weird behavior and I showed similar weird behaviors if I was trying to shoplift so but it didn't stop me but I knew that I just didn't want to cause anything the only reason why I was walking on the aisles like like that was because I used to work here and it was really awkward I didn't want to see anybody that I used to work with so I decided I'll just leave so I'm sitting in my truck this is yes it's a truck can you see the back yeah see Mm -hmm. It's a truck. No, no one believes me. They think I just own a regular car. No, that was sold. The car I had before was Oscar. It was a green Buick Century from 2000. And this is a... I have no idea. I think this is a 2006. A 2006 Dodge Dakota. That's right. Dodge Dakota. And I, and I name him Grover. It's not my truck. It's like not under my name or my insurance. It's my aunt's. But she's in Arizona, so this is mine temporarily. So it's nice to drive. I mean, like, I think that on the road, I get I, I get just a little bit more respect, I think, because I'm driving a truck, and I'm like, yeah, that's right. Don't let me run you over. So um, I love this truck. It is broken, you know, because I, I, don't, I don't know if you can see that. Um, You probably can't. But these are my handles. These are what opens the door. I have to pull for this one. See? It's so... It's loud. Um, there's a few problems with the truck, obviously. But I, I don't know how much my aunt got it for, but I'm happy she did. Because I kept telling her I really wanted a truck. And I really want it to be blue. Now, her decision was probably had nothing to do with mine because she wanted a truck. But it's kind of funny how she got a blue one. Because I, 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 I really wanted a blue one, like, so bad. It's like, I want a blue truck. And it's, and it's such a pretty blue truck. Um, I don't think, I, don't, I can't, well, it's kind of like this color, basically. Like, so it has, like, this glue on it, so it looks kind of gross. But when I, when I leave again, like, 
When I leave again, I, I'll, I'll show the color of the truck, but I'm, I'm waiting for, the, for my bank to open. Um, which is like really weird. It's like right here, as you're seeing, is Safeway. Well, I thought, I thought there was something in that truck because it wasn't. And then way over there, which, like, I mean, it's like way, way over that way, is a Spokane store called Rosars, only located in Spokane. I think we, I think we have like four in Spokane. I don't know, there might be five. Um, I used to work there. That was my very first jelly job before I moved to. I, I, I worked there at Rosars, and I worked at a fast food restaurant, which. I felt pretty low. Like it, it wasn't a bad, a bad, a bad fast food restaurant, but I made like three hundred and fifty dollars a week there, and I dropped down to making two hundred and fifty or two hundred. Actually, it was two hundred and twenty every two weeks. I'm like, how do you live off of this? And I, and then I uh, got laid off because they decided to open the restaurant when, um, they opened the fast food restaurant when. The University of Gonzaga was on winter vacation uh, last year, and there was no business. And it pretty much fell. Like it's, it hasn't fallen, but it lost a lot of of employees. Um, but then, but then they got themselves back up again. That being said, then I moved over here to Safeway, and I made like four hundred every week. And I loved it, and I loved the employees. I mean, like they, my boss was great. My manager, or well, the manager is my boss. Um, I was friends with everyone. They, they understood that you know my my background kind of sucked because I didn't know how to, you know, I didn't have much responsibility. But then, of course, you know, they 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 had to let me go because oh, there's someone fucking right next to me, and they had to let me go because of my lack of responsibility okay she went quite close to me okay well let me see what time it is now it is 9 40 I'm, I'm gonna go in now watch I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like like attacked by security guards going what are you doing back here what are you doing back here and like they will like tase me and then like oh you'll find me in prison <sighs> I probably jinx myself I'm gonna go in. This is five minutes. I'm so sorry. I talk so much. Oh, by the way, those little, uh, what's that? Those little dots? Those are ducks. They're like little stickers on the back. Apparently, someone who owned this truck before us was a hunter. Oh, well. Ugh! I've got a, a uh, warning light for my gas. It's been telling me to get gas. I'm almost empty and. The gas station I usually go to is out of service. And so there's, I'm, I'm at a stoplight, don't worry. And I'm trying to get the gas station before my car gives out. Okay, I gotta I got go.